They lead a life of fame and fortune, but for some celebrities, there is a frightening dark side to stardom. That situation did change things for me a little bit. Hugh Jackman on Extra, one of many Hollywood stars who've become victims of a stalker. She looked emotionally unstable. The Wolverine star was working out at Gotham Gym in New York when obsessed fan Catherine Thurston came at him with a razor. Trainer Mike Castle telling our affiliate WPIX he stepped in to stop her. I think I heard her say, I love you. Thurston was sentenced to five years probation. Jackman telling authorities the troubled woman had followed Hugh and his family on numerous occasions and telling the TV show Extra. When you have a situation where, you know, this woman had gone to my daughter's school, then it's a little bit of a wake-up call. Yeah. Stalkers are clever, cunning, smart. Los Angeles District Attorney Rhonda Saunders is one of the nation's leading experts on stalking. She's prosecuted several high-profile stalking cases here in California during her almost 30 years in the DA's office. You literally wrote the law on stalking. Yes, I did write the law on stalking and I feel very proud about that. In the most simplest of terms, what is stalking? Stalking, it's fairly simple and it is a crime in California and all of the other states and also in many other countries. Stalking consists of three elements. One is repeated following or harassment. Two, the stalker made a credible threat against the safety of the victim or the victim's family. And three, the stalker intended to place that victim in fear for their safety or the safety of their family. That's exactly what happened when Charlize Theron had a man try to deliver flowers to her home and wouldn't leave, demanding to see her face to face. The Oscar winner called cops and had the guy arrested for stalking. The reason that it is against the law is that it's impinging on the victim's right to feel safe. Keanu Reeves telling the TV show Extra he definitely didn't feel safe during his stalker scare. It was a woman who just uh, was a fan and uh, wanted to say hi at four in the morning with her luggage and had broken into the house and just wanted to stay. Keanu remembers that chilling moment he realised he wasn't dreaming. It was like four in the morning, I was in bed, I heard a noise, I looked up and there was a dark figure in the doorway of the bedroom. And I was just like, I, I remember just like looking and just going, and in my head I was like, what's next? Go, no, go. What's going to happen here? What did happen, the woman was arrested and given a psych evaluation. Many stalkers having obvious mental issues, but others appear as just overzealous fans. There's a difference between a fan and a fanatic. What's the fine line between an overzealous fan, for example, and a stalker? Is there a clear distinction? There is nothing wrong with being a fan. That's what these celebrities actually thrive on. When they start to actually make physical contact with the celebrity, when they get turned away time after time, they start to get angry. And that's where that line is crossed from I love you to I hate you. And that's when you have the difference between a fan and a fanatic and a dangerous fanatic. That would describe Robert Hoskins, the Madonna stalker Rhonda prosecuted, seen here in this chilling viral video after escaping a mental institution. Madonna loved me. Madonna's stalker tried to kill her bodyguard. He threatened to slice her throat from ear to ear because he was getting sent away, but he also threatened to kill her assistant, her bodyguard, and anyone else who he perceived as standing in the way. Steven Spielberg, also lucky, Rhonda and authorities got in the way of the legendary filmmaker's obsessed fan before he could carry out his chilling plan. He started showing up. He tried to get entrance into the house. He showed up with three sets of handcuffs, a huge roll of duct tape, and a knife. And when he was caught, he said that his intent was to tie Spielberg up, to tie Spielberg's wife up, and then to rape Spielberg. You have to take action and you have to protect yourself. Angie Harmon telling the TV show Extra she had to beef up her own personal security, taking out a protective order against a homeless woman who was harassing her. It was a thing for a while where it was just sort of like, okay, well, you know, I guess, yeah. you know, this is my problem or whatever. And then it just became like, no, 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 now this is your problem. <laughs> Hugh Jackman working on not letting those fearful encounters with his stalker affect his freedom. I kept thinking, if you walk around with security, 
weirdly you create a situation where you get more attention. Yeah. And I just thought for my kids, I want to try and keep it as low key as possible. But remaining low key can be a challenge when you live in the spotlight. The celebrities' homes now are appearing in magazines, in the newspapers. And it's so easy for a stalker to find that house. Rhonda says in this internet age, she recommends stars take one big step to protect themselves from overzealous fans. Cut down on your social media. Stop using Twitter to tell everyone. I know you want to reach your fans. But there's a dynamic going on there. A lot of these stalkers really believe that there's a relationship between themselves and the celebrity. We're dealing with people, stalkers, who basically don't think the same way everybody else does. 